This protocol utilizes high spatial and temporal resolution optical mapping to understand the mechanisms underlying stretch-induced atrial fibrillation. This is accomplished by first explanting a sheep heart and connecting it through the aorta to a Langendorf perfusion system with circulating oxygenated tyroid solution. An atrial transeptal puncture is used to seal off all the vein orifices except for the inferior vena cava which is used to control the intraatrial pressure. Then, under the continuous atrial stretch, a persistent atrial fibrillation is applied using burst pacing from an electrode located on top of the left atrial appendage. The final step is to optically and electrically map the epicardial and endocardial surfaces of the left atrial appendage and posterior left atrium using laser illumination, CCD cameras, and bipolar electrodes. The results show dominant frequency gradients from the posterior left atrium to the left atrial appendage and to the right atrium. Additionally, occasional long-lasting rotors with centers of rotation in the highest frequency domain are identified. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like a conventional electrical mapping that is traditionally used in human electrophysiological studies, is that optical epicardial and endocardial mapping of the left atrium provides high temporal and spatial resolution over a wide area, which allows the tracking of atrial fibrillation waves in various regions, including regions with the high rotor frequency that maintain atrial fibrillation. This method can help answer key questions in the cardiac electrophysiology and complex cardiac arrhythmias field, such as what are the spatiotemporal patterns of activation underlying the maintenance of the most common sustained arrhythmia in the clinical practice. The implications of using this technique extend toward therapeutic possibilities.